I put a bag on my fan, and I was surprised by the result. Why? I never thought of this before. I'm going to share some advice with you all. So this is what I get to do. First, take a container. Then let's add one tablespoon of toothpaste. I'm using this brand right here, but you're free to use whatever you prefer. So just go ahead and add it to the container. Okay, and now let's add seven ounces of water. But guys, it has to be piping hot water. So we can dissolve all the toothpaste. Now make a little. All right, all the toothpaste is already mounted. Now we're going to need dishwashing soap. Feel free to use whatever brand you like. So let's go ahead and then here are two tablespoons of dish soap. Now give it a good mix too. And last but not least, we're going to need vinegar. But it has to be white vinegar or alcohol vinegar, which is the same. Let's add here the same amount as the dish soap. Two tablespoons too. Now just go ahead and mix everything very well. And here it is. Our mixture is ready. This is what you're going to do now. Take a spray bottle and let's put all of our mixture in, in order to make it much easier to apply. So just go ahead and put it all into the spray bottle. Now just close it and it's good to go. And now if you ask me, what is that for? Let's go ahead and apply it to the fan. That's right, folks. So here's the thing. When you use your fan, it can get pretty dusty. Then every time you use it, everyone starts sneezing and coughing. It gives everyone allergies, and sometimes we don't even know why. But the thing is, it's very annoying to clean it. Because you have to disassemble the whole thing, remove the blades, and scrub. But now you don't have to do that. So this is what you're going to do instead. However, it's important to exercise caution and ensure the fan is unplugged before attempting any cleaning to avoid any accidents. Go ahead and spray our mixture over it, especially on the guard and the fan blades. There's no need to soak your fan just a little, and now for the next step, we're going to need a plastic bag. Go ahead and put it on the fan, all right? Let's stay back here. There's no need to tie it much, by the way. Just enough to hold the bag. Now we can plug it in, and let's turn it on at medium speed. And then what's going to happen? Because of our mixture, this is going to clean the entire fan, removing all the dust we cannot. In addition to making the whole cleaning process a lot easier, as we don't need to disassemble and scrub it anymore. The fan will get rid of all the dust and dirt, so tie it here and let's turn it on at medium speed. After this, let's leave it there for about two minutes or so, all right? After this time, we can turn it off, remove the bag, and check it out. We can already tell the difference. And now I'm going to take a rag and dry it real quick. Look how cool it is, folks. It's much better now. Now, let's remove the guard and clean the blades. We're actually just drying it because it's already pretty clean. And now, just wipe it to remove any residue that may have been left behind. And guys, look how it turned out. As you can see, all the dust is gone. Pretty amazing. So there you go. Our fan is clean and ready to use again. Very nice, isn't it? And check this out. Look how much dirt we managed to remove. Well, we're going to breed all of that pretty badly. So I think this hack is very cool. So that's it. I hope you like it and try this at home because I'm sure you're going to love the result. Hey guys, one more thing. If the fan has stubborn dirt or sticky residue like oil, this method may not be as effective. In such cases, it might be necessary to disassemble the fan for a more thorough cleaning. It takes time to clean, but you can use a mixture of toothpaste, water, dish soap, and vinegar. This mixture is good to remove a lot easier and cleaner. It's always important to exercise caution and ensure the fan is unplugged before attempting any cleaning to avoid any accidents.